Hello, YouTubers and all those who happen to watch. I hope you can see the uh, desk and the batteries pretty well. These are going to be used as a size comparison. These are AA batteries, by the way. Don't be fooled by their coy look. They're good until December 2023. But anyway, back on tra track here. I'm going to be talking about a couple things just sort of to fill up the video a little bit, give a little bit of consistency, I suppose. So, first things first is I picked up this from McDonald's. And this is actually a little toy. Obviously, if you go to McDonald's, you get a toy with the Happy Meal thing. I didn't get the Happy Meal, I just got the toy. I escaped the clutches of that evil fucking ball. Anyway, so, number three is Donkey Kong, which is these little toys from Mario Kart 8. Now, I was not really going to open this at first. I thought about it, and I was like, so you know what? Fuck it. You know? It's the fact that life's too short. No, I'm kidding. Basically, I'm going to open it anyway. I mean, if I keep the toy and the sticker intact, it's still going to be worth at least something. But just for those, one of those days I get old and naive, and I don't give a shit anymore, and I very much can't remember my own, uh, wipe my own ass, that's when the games and everything will start going away. So... Alright, what is included with this is a little instructional pamphlet here. Which on the other side is stickers, which are used for the Donkey Kong vehicle. Which is one of those... Oh, looks like it just spins. Alright, it makes sense. So, Nintendo. Cool. See? See, I don't mind... The drawback cars, the ones that you kind of crank back and you know just let them roll. But this right here is actually pretty cool. I can play this for hours, but not really. Um, but yeah, basically just has these little wheel bits here and all that simple plastic decal. So it's just white, black, and Donkey Kong on top, which is quite interesting because he's a little bit shaky. Yeah, it's like it looks like he's not. It's fully snug on there, but uh, comparison side to these batteries, he's about that big compared to the batteries. So the build of this toy is actually quite nice. I like the design of it. It's one of the, uh, I think, one of the hover ski modes. They think the vehicles can turn into. Not too sure, I never really truly played uh, Mario Kart 8 too much, I'm just making an assessment of what I've noticed here. Either if it's a hover vehicle or a jet ski thing, if I'm not mistaken. Someone will tell me in the comments, because they've all, everyone by now has probably played Mario Kart 8 like fucking hardcore. Because everyone talks the shit about it. There's a lot of people going off the edge just saying that it has to be regarded as the best Mario Kart game to date. Meaning it's better than the first one, it's better than all the other ones, which I guess so, because apparently there's a lot of content to it, which is quite interesting. But, there you go, Donkey Kong. Really nice looking figurine. You can get these for like $1.89 from McDonald's, so if you don't want to get a Happy Meal, just pay $1.89 and get a bunch of the toys. That's actually very cheap, so that's actually pretty cool. Uh, next thing here is actually a controller I've had for a while, and I showed this in a, like a periodical pickups video. I got this like really affordable, and this is something I got from like Target, but this right here. Now, pardon me, you're probably asking me why am I showing this? Jesus Christ, I gotta stop burping. Basically, it's a little miniature rant I have. It's a really small one, it's a, it's, it's a critique. Now, I understand that over time, people eventually, you know, either have an Xbox controller or don't. I mean, I do have an Xbox controller, but when it comes to games that are side-scrolling platformers, it sucks. Like, the 360 controller sucks for that. Because there's some commands you need to do with the said controller that don't quite follow through 100% accurate. So, therefore, this controller right here is not highly visible especially with the d-pad not being that great it's all right for a d-pad but especially this uh switch one here you can kind of go flick 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 you get the point there but it isn't as good i would say it's it just feels like a really flimsy d-pad still versus this which feels more practical you know it's a better d-pad i play this if i'm playing an emulator to try out a game i always use this gamepad 
you know, it never failed me yet. It's very responsive. Like, this is a very responsive controller. I'll give you a uh, look in the back here with the, uh, how it looks. It's a uh, dual action Logitech controller and it's, it's freaking, it just works really good. It just generally looks very, very good. And, you know, it fits perfectly in my hand. I'm trying to get underneath the camera here a little bit. And you can see, clicks in, you get the, the bumpers and the triggers, so to speak. But you can hear it has little micro switch ish style buttons. And you can feel it click in a little bit, so that means you got that responsive nature to the controller. So you know when you press a button, it's going to uh, just practically press in. Like you're going to feel it actually respond, which it does. It feels amazing in my hand. I would go as far as to say this is like one of my favorite controllers to date. I mean, the Xbox 360 controller is good, but this right here takes the cake generally because it just feels nice in the hand. It's big, you know, it's big enough for my hands. I have pretty uh, meaty hands. You know, it just works well. But one of the things I notice a lot of modern games, they don't really support controllers such as this. I mean, this one, this controls a little bit old, yes, but it's still very usable. I mean, it can be used very well. So you have to go through hell and high water, find programs that uh, remap controllers and all that, or make it emulate the uh, make it make the uh, other game or games think that this is an Xbox 360 controller, and you know, remap all of it accordingly, and make it uh, happen. But Again, it just feels kind of weird that you'd have to go through all that hell just to get to work with this controller. Now, I really hope in the future that a lot of companies realize that some people aren't going to be able to afford an Xbox 360 gamepad and want to use a Logitech such as this. I mean, I've saw other models which look a little bit more like an Xbox controller, but are still initially the same design overall, that PlayStation-ish style uh, analog control look. But Again, you know, this controller feels really good in the hands, and it works very well. I mean, it's an older controller, but again, it just works fantastic. It's like, I have no complaints about it. So, you know, I wish that I could be able to use this on those games I purchase. Or I think a lot of people would wish that would happen too, because, you know, it's like, shit. I got no beef against this controller, except for to the D-pad. And that's the main thing I like to use with the game I'm trying to play, and it just feels like ass trying to control with it. And it just, it just does not feel practical. I mean, if FPS shooters or other games like that, it works fine, but otherwise, if you're trying to play a side-scrolling platformer, the analog stick kind of blows ass. Like, it doesn't carry through what you want it to. So, all those developers out there who actually would ever come across this video, please, please take this as gospel. Use this idea. You know, make it open source that every controller can be synchronized and manageable to be able to be used for your game. Because it's like, Jesus, Charlie Mimosa. And the last bit of this video is going to be something sort of a uh, boo hoo me kind of thing. But then I have not gotten sleep for like two days straight so far, so wee! So basically, I have these games here, Beatles, Rock Band, and Rock Band 2. Now, I've been trying to play these, and sadly, the controller I have, or the Rock Band, not the Rock Band, it was a uh, Guitar Hero controller I have, it had a battery leak, or a uh, battery being much corroded inside the controller, and it pretty much fucked it over, so it's a screwed controller. And this is, of course, from lack of use, so therefore the battery decided it wanted to uh, shoot the bed and basically did it in a very unoperable moment. That my room got really fucking hot, so the battery just committed suicide or something. I don't know what. But this room does get pretty hot. It gets like 109 degrees sometimes, give or take. Because I'm on the top floor, so the sun just beats the shit out of this room. Like, it, you have no idea how hot it gets in here. Like, I, I, like I, I'm like caked in sweat, I'm like, ooh, I take a shower, I come back in the room, I'm still caked in sweat, I'm like, ooh. You know, it just does not bold too well towards my uh, immune system, you know. <laughs> but, again, I've been trying to play those two games, and I don't have a Guitar Hero, or I'm sorry, a Rock Band controller for the PlayStation 3, so I can't play it. Which sort of sucks. 
So in the future I need to invest to get myself an official Rock Band controller that works on my PlayStation 3 so I can actually play those two, that, those two particular games and probably get Rock Band 3 and Rock Band 1 just to have the collection. So there you go, that's my little video for today. I haven't really been posting too much things recently, I've been, you know, kind of slacking off, but hey, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. A little bit of content to go along the way, and I also tried some of this right here. This is a, uh, the Pepsi Cola, made with real sugar, vanilla flavor. Which actually tastes pretty good, it's very creamy, but anyway, that's enough of me gabbing and rambling. I'm gonna lay down and take a little nap, but hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. Touch my nipples, see you later, and thank you all humbly.